The Last of Us Part 1 just got updated and it has built in FSR and frame generation. Let's check it out. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at The Last of Us Part 1 on Steam Deck Steam OS. And there was a new update that released yesterday. It's the latest one as of recording, which is version 1.1.3.0, which I've got right now. And this is a very important update because this brings native FSR 3 and frame generation to the game. Okay, so if you go to my option display, you can see display mode borderless windowed. Um, display resolution at 720p because I'm using the Steam Deck. Okay, and here, anti-aliasing mode, you've got a new option, AMD FSR 3 native AA. And you can toggle the frame generation on and off. All right, so I'm going to toggle it on, obviously. I want to test it out. And you've got scaling mode. I'll try this out later. So it is super resolution. Um, yeah, we'll try that out later. We'll try the native AA first. Okay, and then for graphics, I'm going to set the graphic preset to low. The low and yeah, let's start the game. Last of Us. Okay, let's start a new game. A new game. Brand new. Okay, so in the past, before this update came out, without the built-in FSR 3, I've done videos um, using paid mods. Uh, by Luke FC and also by Pure Dark. I remember Luke FC's one, it still had a lot of UI flickering. Um, but a Pure Dark's one, he overcome that. So that was the better version, Pure Dark's one, I think. Uh, and I remember using low settings, the graphic preset, low. Uh, and we got like 60. I'll link both of those videos in the description. And I remember going to medium settings. Uh, we got like 50 frames, 50-ish frames. Uh, it drops sometimes to the 40-ish, yeah, something like that. So let's see how this one performs. This is the built-in one, official FSR 3, which is good, and it's free. So you wouldn't need to pay to get this mod. I know, like, paid mods, that's a lot of controversy. I don't really understand it. I might get a lot of heat talking about this, but, uh, yeah, I just want to keep it real. Okay, let's... Uh, the cinematics don't really need that yeah i just want to keep it real like in my opinion like there's nothing wrong with paid mods um you know if the person spent the time and effort and the knowledge to make the mod and he wants to charge for it i think that's fair and it's optional right you, he's not forcing you to pay for it you don't really need the mod it's like um like i sit here a lot of comments on my YouTube, like because I make a lot of FSR three um, content, and they kind of think I'm affiliated or something. I get paid for it. I don't. It's just like good content because I know a lot of people they don't want to pay for the mod before seeing it in action. That's why I, like I just test it out for them. I've already paid for it, so I just maximize it. I'm just gonna test it out on all the games, and you know if you like what you see, then you can decide whether or not you want to pay for the mods. And yeah, I get a lot of hate sometimes in the comments, uh, but I don't really understand it. Like, like I hear the arguments. The arguments are like, um, you know, those modders, they don't own the game. Um, and the code, the FSR 3 code is open source. It's free. They shouldn't charge for it. Stuff like that. But it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, um, like my car, if I have a car and I want to mod it. You know, and a, a company, like a third party company makes, you know, good suspension, uh, good paint, whatever, like, you know, Are you okay? and they did the job. You, you pay them, right? You, you don't expect it to be free. They don't own the car. They, they, they're not affiliated with the car company, right? But, you yeah, know, if you mod your car, you still have to pay. And regarding the code being open source, like AMD released this code, the FSR3 code open source under the MIT license. Uh, you could look it up. MIT license means that you could use the code and you can put it in a commercial product and sell it just as long as you give them the credit and stuff like that. And AMD wants people to make, use their code and, you know, make it widely adaptable to, you know, more people using it. That's, that's, that's why they made it open source. They want it, you know, they're behind, they're behind NVIDIA DLSS. They want, you know, more developers 
game developers like like this one, Naughty Dog. They are, like, but not every game studio or developer is like Naughty Dog, and they're not going to go back and update their old games. So like these modders, they're taking these old games that's never going to get native FSR um, support because you know the devs have already like they've done with the game, right? That they're not going to update it anymore. And these modders are making it, oops. Sorry, I just hit my, I just hit my dock. So yeah. All right. So they're, they're, they're not going to update the game. So these modders are making these mods for these older games, which I think is good. Like, and if you want to play these older games with a better like performance on gaming handouts, especially, then it's really, really good. And you know, you probably have to pay for it. They've got the knowledge to do it. Like if I had the knowledge to do it, I would probably do it but i don't right i don't know how to write that code and if i did i'll probably charge for it right i spent that time and effort and the knowledge right so i don't really see the controversy but uh yeah everyone's got different opinions so i understand if you you know prefer free i like free stuff like free shit is good free shit is is definitely good but yeah it is what it is, right? Some some stuff you can get for free, some stuff you can't. And if you want to make it free, it's easy. If you just get more modders out there and they're making the same mod or better and they put it out on Nexus mods or something like that and it's free, then, you know, people won't be buying, like wouldn't be paying to get these mods. But, you know, so the market did, like dictates what's what the price or if it's free or not right that so these people like if they're so like against it why not just learn it and then make a free mod like do spend the time and effort make a mod make it better and then just put it out for free and then i'm pretty sure no one's going to pay luke fc or pure dark for their mods if you know if you make it like if there's one on the market that's free right that's my take on the on the whole thing that's just me blabbing on because i do get a lot of hate sometimes in the comment section people i don't get like those mods like if you buy it or don't buy it like, i don't get money for it so yeah that's what you're thinking yeah i don't it's just content for me it's just like i bought it i think it's good content i think people want to see it all right so we get like 40 ish 50. All right, let's try um, the super resolution. I think that would be better. Uh, display. Play. Scaling mode. All right, let's do AMD FSR super resolution on quality. And yeah, we've got quality. Yeah, apply changes. Yes. Yeah, this is better. Get better frame rates. Get Am I on? Yeah, disable frame limit. So yeah. Okay. So I've got Cryo Utilities on. Recommended settings: four gigabytes of VRAM. In case you wanted to know. And my Steam OS is on the stable release, three point five point seventeen as of recording. That's the latest one. Okay, we can't skip the cinematics here. All right, let's see if we push it up a little bit. Let's see if we go to graphic preset medium. That'd be better. Apply changes. Apply. Okay, so medium. But this is just like we have okay so let me know in the comments if you agree or if you disagree uh on the whole take on the free mod stuff what's your take on it like i'm open to different opinions 
doesn't really bother me if you think it should be free or not. Kind of like emulation. Some people agree emulation is good. Some people think emulation is about privacy. Whatever it is. Yeah. That's good about this world. We can tolerate people with different opinions and still live in peace. Unless you're living like Israeli and Palestine. If you're living in Israel, that, that, then that's a different story. Okay, so medium settings, we get like a 50-ish. So yeah, pretty much the same as pure darks, I think. Let me go back to low. I don't think that changed much. Oh yeah, a little bit better. We're gonna get out of this. I promise. This is a good game. If you haven't played it, oh, you should try it out. Good game. First party Sony game. Yeah, I think you just should keep it on low. Keep it on low. You're on the Steam Deck. No, you're not expecting. And if you're playing on handheld mode, like you don't really see the difference. So yeah, it is pretty good for like it's free, right? Good. Uh, like more games should do this. They should implement FSR three and frame generation in their games, especially like the gaming handheld scene. Like it's it's getting so popular. Every company's making uh, gaming handhelds nowadays, and you know it really needs that extra performance because you know you want to maximize the battery. You know and. And you can't have too much TDP on a gaming handheld. So yeah, these really, really help. Really, really help gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. Man, like right now, because it's kind of underpowered compared to its competition. So yeah, not bad. Um, if you have this game, make sure you update and try this out. So I think I'll just leave it here. Um, if there's any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps up the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.